Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make this one pot rice dish using okra and smoked herring. The ingredients I'll be using is two cups of jasmine rice, four and a half cups of water, three fillets of smoked herring, two tablespoon epis, sliced okra, half a pack of bouillon powder, three to four tablespoon tomato sauce, ground cloves, salt, thyme, habanero pepper, as well as olive oil. To see a video on how I make epis, please click the link in the description box below. Fun fact, a few of the items that I'll be using in this dish came from my container garden. I've been growing different vegetables and herbs. This okra is from my container garden. What I did was I harvested it, cleaned it, sliced it, and placed it in a freezer for future use. I also got this thyme from the container garden, as well as the habanero pepper. The smoked herring has been cured in salt, so it's very salty. What I'll do is allow it to boil for about 10 minutes. I'll rinse it and allow it to cool to touch, and then I'll start to shred it into pieces. You can shred the smoked herring with your hand, or you can shred it with a fork. In a pot that has been heated, I'll add my olive oil. Once that is hot enough, I'll add the epis and allow it to fry. After the epis has been frying for about two to three minutes, I go ahead and add the smoked herring and allow that to fry for about three to five minutes, followed by the tomato sauce.
Add the thyme, ground clove, habanero pepper, as well as half a packet of bouillon powder. I allow all of these ingredients to cook for about three to five minutes before adding the okra. I add the water and allow it to come up to a boil. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and prep the rice by rinsing it under cold water a few times until the water runs clear. Now that I have my rice cleaned and ready to go, before I add the rice to the pot, I'll do a taste test. The way your liquid tastes at this moment is how your rice will taste in the end. I went ahead and added some salt. Allow the salt to dissolve and cook in the liquid for a few minutes, do another taste test, make any adjustment is needed, then go ahead and add your rice. At this point, I lowered the temperature to medium high. I'll stir the rice and allow the liquid to start to reduce. After a few minutes, the liquid has started to reduce. I'll go ahead and stir the pot again to make sure the rice or the okra is not being stuck on the bottom of the pot. I'll do one final stir. As you can see, the liquid has almost reduced to nothing at this point. After I do the final stir, I'll go ahead and cover with the lid, lower the temperature to medium low. I'll allow this to cook for 35 minutes. On my stove, medium low is at about a number four. Now, as we wait for this one pot rice dish to be done cooking, I'd like to thank all the subscribers that I have thus far. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Also hit the bell so you can be notified every time a new video is posted. Follow me on Instagram at tasteofk underscore. Also, you can follow my Facebook page, A Taste of K.
Now let's get back to this video. Now after 35 minutes of cooking, the rice is ready. I'll remove the thyme as well as the habanero pepper before serving. Now this one pot rice dish can be served as is. It is packed with flavor from the smoked heron, the okra, the epis, and every other ingredient that was added to this. If you're not a fan of smoked heron, you can omit it. You can make the same dish using the same ingredients, just don't add the smoked heron. But the smoked heron, it just adds a boost of flavor. Once again, thank you for stopping by A Taste of K here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.